Yad biyad echad im hashini, hand in hand with one another. So much of the text from Pirke Avot, the ethics of our ancestors, guides us in how to find, develop, and grow our communities, wherever they might be. From offering smiles, to being there during the simchas and the most challenging of moments, as I've said often, the real power of connection is why we value community and the strength of coming together so much. Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs taught that the community is not just a concept, it is a living reality. We are the community, and the community is us. But what does it mean to truly connect with our community and with others? We're about to sing the Lennon-McCartney hit, I Want to Hold Your Hand. It may seem like a simple love song, but in reality, it holds a deeper message about the power of physical connection. I know this seems a bit odd after COVID, where we were essentially forced not to touch each other for so long. Think of how challenging it was not to be close to someone or not to give your friends or family a hug when they needed it. When a friend and family member was going through a rough time, did we really want to give them an elbow? I think not. There's something truly special also about holding hands. When we hold hands with someone, we are not just touching skin. We are connecting with their soul, their essence, their spirit. During Kaddish, the mourner's Kaddish, I see people holding hands all the time. I have a pretty good view from up here. In romantic relationships, people hold hands. We hold hands with our children to protect them as we cross the street. It's a signal of holding your dear ones close. We're saying, I love you. I am here for you, and I support you. Holding hands reminds us that we are not alone in this world, and that we have a duty to care for and support one another. It's interesting. The University of Haifa came out with a recent study that showed that two people who know each other, not two random people, but two people who know each other, while holding hands, reduced the feeling of mental or physical pain when somebody was in the hospital, where their two brains ended up working together to become connected. Holding hands is a form of empathy that can go a long way when the opportunity pre presents itself. In today's world, however, we have the tendency, or it's easy, to feel disconnected and isolated. We spend so much time on our phones and our computers and even in our own little worlds that we forget the power of physical touch. We forget that a hug or a handshake can make someone's day or even change their life. It's why we go up to visitors or people we don't recognize at Temple here and say, Hi, I'm so-and-so, and welcome, and we shake their hands, because that's what we do. Returning to Rabbi Sachs, he says, our task is to create a world in which there is no them, only us. Oh yeah, I'll tell you something. I think you'll understand. Tonight, I urge you to reach out to someone and shake their hand. Hold their hand if you're comfortable and it's safe to do so, of course. Take that moment to connect. Connect with them on a deeper level. Let's hold hands and work together to create a world of love, peace, and unity. We can't mention the Beatles and seeing their music without veering towards arguably one of their greatest hits, Hey Jude. Back in 1968, Paul McCartney wrote this song to comfort Julian, John Lennon's son, during his parents' very public divorce. The original title of the song was titled, Hey Jules, but McCartney changed it to Hey Jude because he thought it sounded better. The song's lyrics send a message of compassion and hope. He sings, Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it. To paraphrase, Hey Julian, things are rough. It might seem like your world is crumbling and your parents may not care as much as you think, but don't let it get under your skin. 
such beautiful words of compassion during such a difficult time. The song became a huge hit and has been covered countless, by countless artists throughout the years. And so too has resonated with people all over the world. Compassion is a fundamental value in Judaism. We are taught to show compassion towards others at a young age, to be kind, to help others who are suffering. Really, along with prayer, is the triad of strong, healthy Jewish living. Rambam, Maimonides, the famous 12th century Jewish scholar, wrote extensively about compassion as one of the most important virtues that a person could possess, being one of the main 13 principles of Jewish faith. He wrote, do not regard the suffering of any human being as insignificant. If you see a person suffering, you should feel that you are suffering with them. He taught that compassion was not just about feeling sorry for someone who was suffering, rather taking action to help that person embodies the true meaning of compassion, rachamim, and that's what God would do. It wasn't only about humans, he stressed the value of compassion towards animals and inanimate objects too. Striving to be like God, to imitate God's attributes, the ultimate source of compassion is the way to go as this led to a life of greater fulfillment and happiness for everyone. There are easy ways to show compassion towards others, even when it might be frustrating to do so, and that frustration wants to get the best of you. Because the minute you let someone into your heart and start to make it better, even when we're busy and even when we think we don't have the time to complete that action, we carry one of those foods of, bags of food and water in your car for someone who is homeless. We send a text message or make a phone call to check in on someone like our Chesed committee does so beautifully here at Temple. We give as we are able to a certain cause for which we are passionate. We become a listening ear. We take action to help those in need because it is our duty and pleasure to do so. Let us be a source of comfort and hope, just like Paul attempted to do for John's son. Let us remember the message of Hey Jude. There is always hope for a brighter tomorrow, and compassion is the road to get there.